Hey guys, I'm back again with a show that you all been waiting on. It's time for me to do the review on my 163 centimeter full silicone Galatea doll. And it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for my brand new vendor, All Your Dolls. Man, Ken over here, All Your Dolls is doing some great things. And thank you to him and Galatea Doll for allowing me to do this review. Can't wait to do it. You know, I think what's so cool about Galatea Doll is they formed this company and it was a play on the Greek mythology. A guy named Pygmalion had this sculpture called Galatea and the uh, goddess Aphrodite brought Galatea to life for Pygmalion. So I think that's pretty cool that they sort of named their company after Galatea, who was the sculpture. And uh, that's exactly what I have uh, behind me in this box is a beautiful lady. And I'm sure she's a artistic work of beauty, just like a sculpture. So without further ado, let's check it out right now. First things first. Let's examine this box. And as you can see, it's been beat up uh, by the shipping company. And uh, I was talking to Ken over at All Your Dolls, and he was telling me how, you know, he wasn't pleased at the way they handled this box. And, uh, you know, you can use the top companies, but all it takes is somebody who's not really uh, caring about their job. Uh, and you have uh, things like this happen, but... We have a hole back here on this side, as you can see. The plastic is all ripped up. And on this side, it's all the way open. Uh, but luckily, it looks like the dog should still be safe. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not ideal. Ken was saying how he called the factory and was talking about how, you know, they're going to improve on the box and things of that nature. And you can never go wrong with improvements, and that's what I told him. Uh, they could probably do something like what Fan Real did on these sides and put some like extra uh, reinforcements on the sides and all around the box uh, because you definitely want to protect these investments. Uh, but like I said, I think everything is going to be all right, and I'm glad that uh, even though it's not Ken, all your dogs fought or got a tear dog with the way they handled this package, it's good to know that they're investigate uh trying to make improvements on their uh packaging so uh, let's cut this bad boy on up and see what's in here Bad boy open. And as I open it, just from the first glance, it all seems to be uh, well packaged and secure just from first glance. So if you look at that, that's like a molded foam uh, covering to keep her safe, to keep the dog safe nice and soft foam and this uh, I've never gotten one of these this is pretty damn cool oh. it's an all your dolls pillow <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's, that's pretty cool right there I think oh on the back it's got a whole nother thing on there all your dolls I think that's pretty cool I'm going to value that. Right here. I don't know what's in here. I'm, I'm going to guess just the supplies. Like everybody's saying with the dog. Ok, 
Okay. This is one of the wigs I ordered. Uh, <laughs> it looks pretty good in the packaging. Let's see what else. What is this? Was this like something I could just hang up or something? Yeah, looks like like a sign. It's pretty cool. Got a tear dog. Oh, that's like a sticker. That's like a sticker. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think when uh, you bought a doll, right now they got this promotion where they was giving a gift bag away. And that's what this is, the gift bag. That looks like some sort of outfit. That's pretty cool. She got some clothes. It's so hard finding clothes for dogs, so it's cool when you get something sent with the dog because you know, okay, at least that's going to fit her. What else is in here? What is that? Got to see the product specifications. Okay, I guess this is the book. I guess this is the book. It's just a thin little book. Doesn't got much in it. Uh, I'll check that out at another time. Oh, okay. Cleaning supplies. You know, these are things that I hardly ever uh, need other than the gloves, but uh, it's good to have just in case I ever get physical with my girls in the future. So, that was all in that bag. Uh, right here, of course, I got two heads uh, for this doll. And uh, I'll be checking those out uh, on down the line when I do the head review. So, uh, let's keep it moving. I'm going to do a little preview to make sure. Oh, something slid down. I do a preview to make sure I don't show anything that I shouldn't show. And we'll uh, continue opening this girl up because it looks like she's in a sleeping bag. And it's nice and tight. So. I get all this stuff moved out and get her out of here. Or get her exposed, so to speak. So guys, I've already peeked in here to make sure I don't show you guys anything inappropriate. She was packed very well. Uh, I do prefer to have blankets uh, or uh, sheets with the dolls other than the uh, sleeping bags. But just because I like to see like those girls. I like to keep the uh, the blankets on there, but it's fine. Uh, sleeping bag is not bad. So here she is, you guys. Here she is. Are you surprised <laughs> that this is a girl with a little bit of color on her? Uh, I went with the dog companion doll again. I like my real doll so much. That one over there. I like her being dark so much uh, that I wanted another one. And uh, it's really crazy because Galatea Dog doesn't have any dark girls promoted. So I had to make me a dark girl. Dark girl. Uh, and I'm very interested to see how it's going to turn out. But uh, I was looking at the skin texture. And I was like, you know what? That skin texture does look real from what I'm looking at. But I'm not going to go into full depth review yet. Uh, until next video but she's well packaged uh, I did touch her though as you can see my finger I was in a bad bike bike wreck but I did touch her and she she felt a little just a tad bit uh, uh, sticky uh, to be a full silicone girl but uh, we're gonna get her out of here and uh I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, one thing you definitely want to do to get your girl out is make sure she's propped up. See, I have uh, two old boxes from uh, a couple of my other girls, and I just set this on top. You know, I've, I've said this time and time again, and I do this every review video. Uh, if you don't have boxes like this, 
at least get something like a small seed or something build you something up uh, and this is going to keep you from uh, bending your back over too far and this flap it's always one flap on the box it's extra long and as you can see that flap it comes past see it comes past where the box box ends so if that's on the floor it's going to be hard for you to get over here and pick the doll up so make sure that you have the doll lifted up onto something and uh, it'll make it easier to get her out of Let's see something. Can I lift her arm up? Oh, dude. It came up real easy. Try this one. Oh, yeah. easy but it's not too too loose I like this so, the foot is wrapped wrapped up very well I'm using one arm now guys so it's not an easy thing to do and I don't want to break the dog so I may stop take a break right here and get this other leg up as you can see I got both legs up now both of them are bent have both hands up and this is usually the position or the best position for me uh, to get the girl out of the box she's all ready to go and uh, I noticed this right here she got some like little uh, lint hair stuck to her I told you she's sort of sticky to be uh, full of silicone uh, so luckily I did this video not long ago showing how to powder a dog skin companion dog because I'm gonna probably need to powder her after this review video so now it's time to get this girl right on up at this box Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of the review of my 163 centimeter full silicone Galatea doll. I want to thank all your dolls one more time. Ken, uh, the guy over at All Your Dolls, uh, who's running everything. He's a great guy, and I appreciate him for uh, partnering with me. And I want to also thank Galatea doll and the whole Jensen company for this opportunity to review their product. And remember, if you want a Galatea doll or many other types of dolls, you can check the All Your Dolls link that I have in the About section of my YouTube channel. And I guarantee you, Ken will definitely help you out. But stay tuned for part two of my Galatea doll unboxing review where I'll be doing my initial inspection over my Galatea doll. Until then, 
it's been me, Jada Akin Hefner, and my beautiful 163 centimeter full silicone Galatea dog. We are.